Free plans in Azure are often not paid enough attention to and easily dismissed as just being good for development and testing. But with a bit of planning and collaboration with your development team, you can totally take advantage of free plans even in a production environment. I don't know about you, but I like to save money. So if you can get away with a free plan in Azure, why not? In this video, we'll explore Azure free F1 plan offered for your Azure app service and show you practical ways to leverage it to your advantage. Whether you're a small business looking to save money or hosting a personal site where spending isn't an option, this is for you. Let's dive in. I'm going to assume you already know a bit about Azure App Service, but if not, let me quickly break it down. Azure App Service is a platform as a service PaaS offering from Microsoft Azure. That means it's fully managed platform you can use to build, deploy, and scale your applications without worrying about managing servers or infrastructure. You can work with multiple programming languages and host anything from a simple personal blog to an enterprise grade application. Now let's get to the good stuff, the pricing plans. Azure App Service offers several plans, free, shared, basic, standard, premium, and isolated. Each plan adds more features and capabilities as you go. One thing to keep in mind is that shared and standard plans are not offered for Linux and they're only available if you select Windows for your operating system. Free plan, however, is available for both Linux and Windows. And today we're focusing on the free F1 plan. Let's see what it offers. So what exactly do you get with the free F1 plan? Let's break it down. Here's what's included. One gigabyte of storage for your app. That is plenty of storage. If you need more than one gigabyte for your app, you should probably take some time and rethink your design. 60 CPU minutes per day, which is plenty for lightweight workloads. If you make your code efficient and focus on performance, 60 CPU minutes per day can go a long way. Built-in SSL support. You don't have to worry about SSL as Azure will take care of this for you, which is nice. Git-based deployments with integration into tools like GitHub Actions and of course, Azure tools. One important note, you can have up to 10 free app service plans per region and each plan can host up to 10 web apps. That's a total of 100 web apps per region under the free F1 plan. Not bad, right? Let's talk about the limitations because no plan is perfect and the free plan is no exception, especially the free plan. Here are the few key restrictions. No custom domains as number one. You're stuck with the Azure websites.net domain unless you upgrade. Number two, limited scalability. As you have probably already guessed, you get only one instance to play with. If your app gets popular, you'll quickly hit CPU and memory limits, but if your app really outgrows what free plan offers and maybe you figure out ways to monetize it, you probably won't mind paying a couple of dollars, a couple of whatever currency you're in to upgrade. Number three, no SLA, service level agreement. There's no guarantee of uptime or performance, so it's not ideal for critical apps. Azure is pretty consistent and reliable, so this is typically not an issue. Number four, basic networking configurations. You won't be able to configure advanced security configurations within your network, but you will have the ability to apply some security. So this is not as bad as it may sound. So while the free F1 plan isn't perfect, and what is perfect these days, it's a great starting point for small scale projects or even selective parts of your production environment. Just keep its limitations in mind and you will be surprised how much you can achieve with the free plan. All right. Let's move on and go over a few ideas for unlocking the potential of Azure Free F1 plan. The Azure Free F1 plan can be a great option for small scale, low cost production scenarios. While it has limitations such as reduced performance and no SLA, it's perfect for specific use cases that don't demand heavy traffic or computational resources. Let's go over a few ideas. First up, 
Let's talk about hosting a personal website. It doesn't matter what type of personal website you're building or already have, whether it's a resume, portfolio, or a showcase of your achievement, most personal websites have low traffic, which makes the free F1 plan a perfect fit. I personally have a couple of websites or personal websites, and all of them are hosted for free, either on Azure or with other providers. Why pay for hosting when you can get it for free? I don't see a reason or justification to pay, I don't know what it is, 10, 15, 20 dollars for hosting when you can just host it for free. Now you will need a little bit of development, uh, development experience to fully take advantage of this, but it's absolutely worth it. And if you don't have any development experience, you can easily get just a basic experience, play with some HTML, JavaScript. It's, it's really not, a, not that hard to pick up on. Next, you can host a lightweight API for a personal project or even a production site on the free F1 plan. Here's the trick. Design your API to be lightweight and use third-party services for heavy processing. Offloading CPU intensive tasks externally lets you run surprisingly complex APIs for free. You will have to be strategic with how you utilize your API and you will have to put emphasis on writing a well-performing code but any decent developer or development team should be able to handle it. And if they're not able to handle it, then uh, you can get a different development team or different developer. I know it's not that easy, as easy as, a, as I'm just mentioning it right now, but you get the point. Use the free F1 plan for proof of concept, POC deployments. This works great for small businesses or individuals creating quick POCs for client demos or internal reviews. You can showcase your ideas without spending a dime on infrastructure. And you make sure your idea is well designed since you're using minimal resources and you don't have the privilege to waste resources, which unfortunately some people do when given the opportunity. Another great use case, redirect services for shortened URLs or vanity links. You've probably seen this before, like when you share a YouTube video and it gives you a short URL. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Those types of apps use very minimal resources and traffic, making them ideal fit for the free F1 plan. Here is a fun one, at least I think so. Build your own API management system. You can deploy multiple APIs on free F1 plans and use a tool like Ocelot to implement an API gateway. Now, keep in mind, this setup would lack reliability because there's no SLA and there's only a single instance of each API. But if cost is your top priority, this is an acceptable trade-off. And plus, once you outgrow the free plan, you can always upgrade to a paid plan. Here's something important to keep in mind. Always monitor your free resources. Stay within the free plan limits to avoid performance issues. For example, if an app or API starts consuming too much CPU time, Consider splitting it across multiple regions to balance the load. You'll need to get a little creative and use software to distribute the workload across region, but the best part, it's still free. And if you outgrow the free plan, you can always upgrade later when you need to. To wrap it up, the Azure App Service free F1 plan is a great starting point for whatever you want to do. It's flexible, capable, and best of all, free. If you think outside of the box a little bit, you can achieve a lot with Azure Free F1 plan and you can save yourself some money or a lot of money, depending what you do. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below. What do you think about Azure Free F1 plan and have you used it for any of your projects? Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.